for. But maybe I might just be wrong on that. And I'm assuming maybe students did get a shot or they understood. So on question number three, all I ask you guys to do is put this equation in slope-intercept form. Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And you're going to have to keep on remembering m is your slope and b represents your y-intercept. So if I want to write an equation in slope-intercept form and I know what the slope is and I know what the y-intercept is, you just plug those values in for your equation. So slope-intercept form of this equation is going to be y equals a negative 3x plus a negative 2. Now obviously we don't really, we can simplify this even more and just write it as y equals a negative 3x minus 2. And just remember a lot of times guys when we're sloping, remember we do like change of y or change of x and we want to find the rise over the run. So you could also rewrite this as y equals a negative 3 over 1x minus 2. Right? You can always change the whole number as a fraction. That, that might help you when you're graphing this like that. But for number three, that's all I asked you guys to do. Uh, horrible.